Hi all, I just wanted to do a really quick video because I noticed some of the comments on the group, a lot of people seem to be having difficulty and not quite sure what a UK treble is. Um, now obviously a UK treble is the same as a US double crochet. Now, personally I like to work in US terms. Lucy obviously does her work in UK terms, but it's exactly the same stitch. So it's just a straightforward yarn over. And then obviously don't forget, we've always got to miss that stitch. We've got to work into the next one. Yeah, so then we pull through a loop and we've got three loops on our hook. We yarn over, we pull through the first two and then we yarn over again and we pull through the last two. And that is your UK treble or your US double crochet. And then obviously for the next stitch, we've got to go back to that one that we missed out initially. Hope you can see that. So we yarn over, we go, it's almost like we just get, we, we, we are making a cross obviously, we're just going back on ourselves, back into that stitch that we missed. Then we pull up a loop, Obviously be careful not to pull that tension too tight. And again, we yarn over, we pull through the two, we yarn over and we pull through the two on the, on the hook. And then that gives us, if you can see that, that gives us our cross, which is exactly what we're going for. Obviously I know there's loads of experienced people out there and please don't think I'm trying to teach anybody to suck eggs, but I know that there are quite a lot of beginners on the group and, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just easier to see somebody doing something just to have it explained. And then hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. I haven't got very far with mine, unfortunately, because, <laughs> again, I've just been so busy today. It's just been crazy. This, obviously, I'm using, but again, this is my choice. I'm using a five millimeter hook. I don't know if you can see that. Not really good. Yeah, I'm using a 5 mil, but again, that's because my tension is quite tight. As you can see, there are a few holes in, but that again, that is normal. So I've done a 6 mil for the very bottom foundation chain and the first row. And then obviously this first row of cross stitches. Obviously now I'm going to use a 5 mil for the rest of this blanket. So I'm just going to go over that one more time just in case anybody's not sure. So again, we're going to miss this, skip this, for, this, ne this next stitch and we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the next one and we're going to pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through the two. We're going to yarn over and then we're going to pull through the last two. Okay. So again, now we've got to go backwards. So essentially we're working one forward, one backwards. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into that skip that we stitched. We're going to pull up a loop again, being careful of your tension, not to pull it too tight, because obviously you could potentially end up with it down there and your work could be bunched up. So try and keep your tension even. Sometimes just a little bit of practice. Then we're going to yarn over. Pull through the two, two loops on our hook, then we yarn over and we pull through the last two. And again, that gives us our cross stitch. I hope, guys and girls, that has explained it for anybody that's not quite sure. And of course, please, please do post your questions on the group because there are lots of experienced hookers of course, they're more than happy to offer their advice. Um, and of course, we're all in this together. So anybody else is thinking about joining along with the cow, please do. Because we're just going to have fun for the next eight weeks. And let's face it, we could all do with a little bit of fun in our lives right at this moment in time. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good night. Bye bye.